Hi there, Homespun friends. It's Sherry. I'm coming to you today to show you something that is very interesting that's happening at my house. And that is over my shoulder, you can see that my Christmas cactus is blooming in September. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I transplanted this cactus last fall, um, late in the season. Um, I put it in this larger container because it was so root bound and, and it had um, just had the appearance of some of the leaves were starting to die off. It wasn't growing anymore and I hated to do it. I knew that when I transplanted it, it would probably um, have a little shock, a period of shock and not bloom for Christmas and it didn't. And so all spring long though, it has grown and all through the summer, it, it loves this spot and it has grown and grown and now Although it's September, it is starting to um, pleasantly surprise me with beautiful flowers. So let me turn it around so you guys can get a better look. So here is where I keep this cactus, and it is right here by this large uh, window that I have that I think you have seen before in previous videos. And so it is near to this light, but most of the year I keep that lamp off and let it um, just be in natural light so that it's, you know, it's in the dark at nighttime, and then it gets the natural light during the daytime. But um, about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago, I started cutting on this lamp, and um, that must have caused my um, my flower to bloom because here it is, and you can see how beautiful it is. I mean, I've rarely seen a Christmas cactus with um, some jack-o'-lantern boxes in it. Um, but here we go, and there's um, blooms here. And I was a little worried about the backside. I did not see very many blooms, but now um, I'm starting to see the blooms come on the backside of this plant. And so it is really, really beautiful. Um, I love a Christmas cactus, don't you? Or even an Easter cactus. Someone had told me they thought this was an Easter cactus because um, it did bloom in March one year, and um, I was so surprised by that. It didn't bloom at Christmas, but it bloomed in March, and they said that they thought it was an Easter cactus, but I really do think it is a Christmas cactus. Here's one on the back side. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's got a, a bloom coming on there, and so this plant really, really loves this spot, and, um, and so this cactus has brought me a lot of joy um, as I have been looking at it over the last week or two. And watching these little teeny tiny blooms come on, um, it's it's such a, a beauty that God has created for us to enjoy. You know, my cactus blooming in the wrong season made me stop and think about how the Bible tells us there is a season for everything. And um, God ordains those seasons in our lives. Um, there's a season for us to be young, and there's a season for us to grow old. There's a season for our children to be infants and then for them to grow up and have infants of their own. Um, there's a season for us to have happiness and great joy in our lives and celebrate things. And then there's also times when um, we experience sadness and we experience grief. And today I have a burden on my heart, a prayer request that I would just like to share with you, my um, homespun friends, because I know many of you are Christian women who pray. And um, we had a police officer that was shot early Saturday morning in our city, and um, this doesn't happen very often where we live. It, it's so rare that I can't even remember the last time that it's happened. He was shot in the head and the arm, and he was a good Christian man. He has a small daughter and a wife, and um, we have been praying for him with great intensity um, for the last couple of days, but he passed away this morning, and his name is Tim Brackeen. And I just want to ask you, my friends, to pray for his family and pray for the Shelby Police Department because they have lost one of their own officers. And um, the person who perpetrated this crime has not been captured yet. And I would like to ask you to pray that, um, that he would be found so that he cannot harm anyone else and so that he can receive punishment and justice um, and hopefully come to repentance, which is always our goal in um wanting justice is that we pray that those who are doing wrong, who are committing crimes, will have the opportunity to make that right in any way they can and to get their hearts right with God um, because we all are accountable to Him. And so in this season where I'm experiencing some sadness for um, a person who has lost their life, I'm encouraged by knowing that this man was a Christian, he was a believer, and now he is in the presence of Jesus. And um, that is where we're all going. And um, if you have not made that decision 
to accept Jesus as your Savior, then now is the time. Because this young man, he was young, he had a small child, he had no idea when he went to work um, what was going to happen to him that day. Life is a vapor, and we know that. The Bible tells us it passes very quickly, and we should always be ready. Always be ready um, with our decisions about eternity. Thank you, friends, for spending time with me today. It is always a joy to see you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.